Hey guys, good morning. Today is, today is the 18th? Yep, <laughs> January 18th. I can't even believe it, it's crazy. Um, so I am dressed and ready to head to the gym. It's about 10.45, I woke up super early, like 6.45. Emmy didn't even have school today, so I don't know why I was up at that hour. And on top of that, Maddie didn't even wake up till 7.30, <laughs> so, or like 7.45 herself. So I don't know why I was up so early, but I was. I should have gone to the gym early. I was going to go with Andres, and then he ended up working out here. So I didn't go, so now I'm forcing myself to go right now. I'm going to go to the mall around 12 with my mom to get our eyebrows done, and we'll probably have lunch. There's a Chick-fil-A in the food court. We go to North Star to get our eyebrows done. There's a Chick-fil-A and a Subway, so I'll pick one or the other. Um, I'm doing good so far. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident I'm gonna lose a good amount of weight this week. So for breakfast, I find that I say so and anyway a lot. Bear with me. For breakfast, I am kind of in a rush. So I'm having a whole banana, some organic frozen mango, organic frozen strawberries, and one cup of 1% low fat milk. And I'm just putting it all in, what is this, a Vitamix? Yeah, I always wanna call it a blend tech, but it um, purees it to be like the smoothest smoothie I've ever had in my life. However, it could be a lot more nutritious. You could always put protein powder in it, lots of spinach or kale. You could put all kinds of grapes, apples. I mean, you could really put anything you want in it. I unfortunately do not have any greens in the house. No spinach, no kale, um, no celery, no nothing, no nothing green. So it's just gonna be a smoothie and I can't stand protein powder. So it's just gonna be a smoothie. It is what it is, we're just gonna to have to deal with it today. You know, I could put peanut butter in it for protein. Nah, too much fat, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna have a regular smoothie. This is actually a smoothie straw so you can suck more out at once. I don't know how big this cup is, maybe 16 ounces or so, 18 ounces, but it filled the entire thing. This is how we roll in a house full of girls, frozen. Gold's Gym, and I got front row parking. I'm so excited, like literally front row. And the parking lot is crazy. I guess because it's a holiday, everyone, their mother's trying to work out today. But I got lucky. <laughs> trying to get my time better for a mile, slowly but surely. I'm feeling it today. Feeling it. It was that popcorn I had yesterday, I know it. I'm done. It was about 40 minutes, 40 minutes total with the sauna. I didn't work out too hard just because I wanted to um, work out harder on the treadmill, so I just left it at that. And of course I forgot my heart rate monitor, so I'm kind of like kind of upset, but I worked out anyway, so now I'm gonna need to cool off a little bit. I'm gonna have to go to the mall sweaty, that sucks, but whatever. I'll go pick up my mom in a bit. Do you have fun? Yes. I love your outfit. <laughs> it's so beautiful, baby. You did a good job picking it out. Yes. <laughs> I missed you. I missed so tell me what you did at Grandma's house. At my Grandma's house, I I slept in my bed, and when Nino left, I went in Grandma's room. Nino's my mom's husband. He refuses to be called Grandpa, so... Nino it is. Nino is... And he likes to tickle me. Yeah, Nino is gra is a grandpa in Italian or Greek or in some other language. I'm not sure. But anyway, so what are you eating? Um, Skittles. Why are you eating Skittles? It's because in the inside they taste yummy. I know, but w who gave you Skittles? Gamma. Why? It's because I was a big help with her. Yeah, mom texts me and she's like, I said, oh, I'm leaving the gym at 12 o'clock so we can go to the mall. I have a few errands to run. And she's like, okay, well, we're just vacuuming. <laughs> like, I mean, I can't say anything because we cleaned the house yesterday or day before. Yeah, day before, Saturday. And I mean, they were a huge help. Maddie, you know, she just kind of ran around. She didn't do much, but... Emmy's always a huge help, and I'm a firm believer. I grew up having chores, and we didn't even get an allowance. My mom was a single parent. She did what she could. She paid for stuff when we needed it, and, um, I mean, she provided us for us as best she could, and she did an amazing job. It, it taught me responsibility at a very young age, and that's why 
I started working when I was 15, I bought my own car when I was 17, and I bought my house when I was 22. So it's like I have no problem teaching my children the same responsibility, whether we can afford to provide them everything that they could ever want or not. So, right? Right. Yep, so they learn from a young age to help be helpful and sometimes you get you just do things to help people without getting anything in return. However, this time she got Skittles, <laughs> which at six, that's a good enough bribe. We're at the mall, looking cray because I'm still, I'm not really sweaty anymore, but that's just as gross because it just means that it dried. What are you gonna do? Mom's here. Hi. <laughs> She's getting used to being in the vlogs. Hi. <laughs> Someone's letting their child run loose. Over here, baby. So we're gonna grab lunch first. Oh, I'd love some pizza or Chinese, but don't look, don't make eye contact, get the healthy stuff. I'm sitting here waiting for mom to um, come back from the bathroom. Emmy thinks she's a big girl. <laughs> she got it. Yeah, she's so excited. It's her subway bag that they gave her. It's Star Wars. She's so excited about it. But yeah, we had subway for lunch. I ended up getting a chicken teriyaki sandwich on wheat. It was okay. I wasn't. I much prefer turkey. It's less calories, and it was um, better when I had it the other day. I had some baked chips and some chicken noodle soup. It wasn't a bad lunch. I think it was a little over 600 calories. I just really wanted to like get full because I just had that smoothie for breakfast, and I was still pretty hungry. So um, yeah, I feel good. Now we're gonna walk a bit in the mall. I feel disgusting actually, I need a shower, but it's okay. We're gonna go to Bath and Body Works because my grandma needs a couple of soaps. Good excuse to go to Bath and Body Works, I think. And then we are going to get our eyebrows threaded and then head home. It's already two o'clock. I actually need to go pick up um, my release paperwork if they have it and then also go pick up our holiday pictures that I never ended up picking up. They were ready like a week and a half ago and I never got them, so that's the plan. Am I seeing this correctly? 20 off of 50, 10 off of 30. Like, you don't need a coupon? That's amazing. Thank you, baby. Emmy already knows I need a bag. Even though you already know you don't need it. I know. <laughs> Did you hear mom? She's cray. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She's starting to lose it. The mind is starting to go. Look, the soaps, mom. Six for 24. Okay. But grandma said she wants white citrus, right? Yeah. Let me call her. I just want to be okay with you. See, we might as well spend fifty dollars because then we can get twenty off. Okay. That makes sense, right? <laughs> so we could get her six for six for twenty-four. So we could get twelve for forty-eight. We could buy thirteen for fifty, and then she could get twenty dollars off. So it's like thirteen for thirty. Are you still filming me? Yeah. <laughs> can you can you edit that, please? <laughs> Okay, Melissa's getting her eyebrows done. She's getting them threaded. I just got mine done and I thought I was going to die. <laughs> That's because I waited so long. I'm sure mine are going to hurt too because it's been just as long for me. Well, then maybe you'll cry too, just like I did. I'm always crying. Are you ready to cry yet? Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. Let's see them. I can hear the hairs. <laughs> They're like horse hair being yanked out. I don't know if it's translating on camera, but my poor mom's eyebrows, look at how big they are. They're so red and swollen. Like all of this right here is red and swollen eyebrows. <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> Hi, everyone. You fix Dora's hair? Yeah. You want to say hi? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. I literally have been laying here for about an hour. Just laying here. Because I'm so tired. I will see Dada. Hmm? I the potty. You went in the potty? Oh, no poo poo. <laughs> no poo poo? No poo poo. So dreaded part of the day for her, I'm sure. She even was like, do we have to do my hair? Turn around, let me look at it. This is a before. Today is going to be just a redo, a complete wash, but a redo of the same style. 
she has uh, school pictures tomorrow, so she's pretty excited. So this was her hair. This is just product. That way it'll dry flat. Turn around. It was a complete wash and redo. Yep. Uh huh. Complete wash and redo of the pigtail. She has picture day tomorrow. Let me see your outfit, baby. This is what we decided on. A little sweater. That's from a Children's Place. Her jeans are from Walmart, and those are from Payless, I believe. <laughs> so yeah, strike a pose. <laughs> okay, jammy time. Okay. Maddie, come on. Madeline, you want to show your outfit? Yeah. Okay, come here. Show us your outfit. They're jammies. Is that your outfit? Yeah. Okay, come on. Put that in the trash. Let's go. Night night. Who wants to say good night? Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, so the girls are asleep and. I feel okay earlier I don't know what in the world was wrong with me I truly don't I could have knocked out while I was driving when I, I dropped my mom after we left the mall and everything I went to go pick up the pictures like our holiday pictures I told you guys from a week and a half ago they were ready at JC Penny and um, on the way home I was just it like all of a sudden I don't know if it was a sugar rush like a sugar low or something I was just dead tired. So when we got inside, Emmy was like, I want to watch TV upstairs. I said, she loves watching TV in the loft. I don't know if it makes her feel like a big girl or what. So I'm like, okay, fine. I'm going to lay here on the couch. You come get me if you need me. So I laid on the couch and I must have dozed off because I feel like the next thing I remember, Andres called and he's like, oh, I'm on my way home from work. I'm like, okay. And it was like 430 I don't even know what time I fell asleep. So, like, I feel okay now, but it took everything in me to drag myself off of that couch. I was just literally so exhausted. I don't know what the heck. So, anyway, I'm feeling a lot better now, but I do need to get editing done. So, I just edited, edited I hate that word, the vlog from yesterday. So, it's exporting now. I will get that uploaded, and then I'm going to do my plan with me and hopefully get that uploaded before midnight. I'm hoping that both of them will upload. They're both kind of long videos and my internet is so freaking slow. I hate it. So the other day, I think not yesterday's vlog, but the day before, I think I talked about answering questions at the end of the vlog. So I guess I'll answer a few today. Seaborsina asked uh, about my mom. Um, he or she, I'm assuming she says that uh, her mom's very overweight. Okay, so my battery on my camera, my camera battery died. I'm already exhausted. My camera battery died, so it cut me off from what I was saying. But um, essentially the question just asked, like, does she ever get too tired and need your help with certain things? Just from her being big. So my mom's been big her entire life. As long as I can remember, she was big growing up. I actually feel like she was bigger when I was younger and has gradually, gradually lost weight over the years. Um, I'd say at least 50 to 75 pounds. So she's just kind of easily got a little smaller over the years. But she's still big. I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's kind of how she's always been. And honestly, if she were skinny, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> because I've never known her as skinny. I've always known her as big. Kind of like me. I've never known myself as uh, skinny either. I've only known myself as big. Ever since I can remember, I was always chunkier than what I should have been so to the question is whether she needs help and stuff my mom still gets around really good considering all things she's fallen several times she's she broke her arm when she was uh, a lot younger she's broken uh, her foot before she's had all kinds of injuries like as far as bumps and bruises she had bad she has bad knees like awful knees just from falling and you know when you're that big and you fall it t it's you take a hard fall I mean lots of people take hard falls but the heavier you are the he the harder you fall so unfortunately my mom has take has taken some dives and because of that she does have um, something in her knees some sort of arthritis or something and so that hurts her but she hasn't thank the Lord hasn't got to the point where she needs assistance with too much um, 
Is it easier for her to have assistants? Yeah. Occasionally she'll hire a cleaning person for her house so she doesn't have to do it all. When the kids are there, they help her with things like bending over and stuff. I mean, you know, not only is she heavy, she's also older. And so it just with age, you get tired, your body gets tired. But other than that, she tries really hard to do most things by herself. Um, I mean, she cooks, she cleans, she does her own laundry, she drives herself everywhere, she gets up and down. You know, if she sits down like on a low place, like on a curb or something, she needs help up. But for the most part, she is very independent and doesn't need help for anything. And we are very close, and we always have been. Like, I just feel like my mom and I have always had the most amazing relationship, and now that I'm older, she's truly my best friend. Like, we do everything together. We talk about everything. We share everything. Like, we talk like we are sisters. Seriously, it's the craziest thing. I love her to, that, to death. She is the, not only the most amazing mother, but the most amazing grandmother to my children. She just is everything she's amazing I just I couldn't even imagine not having her this is not the crying session so <laughs> um but yeah you know and she really does try hard to make an effort to eat better and you walk and just keep herself active because she doesn't want to be in a wheelchair she doesn't want to be taken care of and so she tries really hard it's just weight is something she's battled with her entire life and I just have a feeling she'll always battle with it just like the rest of us. Like I said, for the most part, she's, she stays strong and does what she can for herself. So a number of you were saying that putting bananas in the fridge is not good. They brown easier, they don't ripen, and that apples ripen bananas also. I had no idea any of that. <laughs> I, we put bananas in the fridge simply because most of, well, the girls eat bananas just straight up like for breakfast or in yogurt or something. We use bananas for smoothies. And when the bananas are room temperature, to me, it makes a smoothie less cold. That's just my personal opinion. To be honest, we usually go through them so quickly, it doesn't even matter. They don't even have a chance to get brown. And if they do get to the point where they start to brown, Andres usually um, dry freezes them and then... He puts them in smoothies later and stuff. But I really didn't know that. That other fruit could ripen bananas really fast. And that bananas did all kinds of stuff in the fridge. <laughs> I really did not know that. You learn something new every day. Uh, Laura Gonzalez. How long have you lived in San, Anto San Antonio, Texas? What mall do you like to shop at the most? I've been here my entire life. Never uh, born or raised. Never lived anywhere else. And I like to go to two malls. I prefer going to La Quintera if I can help it just because the selection there is vast. I mean, they have so many different things. Aside from having a huge Forever 21, they now have an H&M. They have all kinds of shops there, plus my favorite, Sephora, Bath & Body Works, just all kinds of stuff. And they have Louis there, which I appreciate <laughs> as well. Um, but most of the time I do go to North Star just because it's a little bit closer for me. Well, not even really. They're about the same distance apart, but it just is more convenient usually. It, especially now because Lock and Terra is an outside mall. If it's too cold, North Star's inside. If it's too hot, North Star's inside. <laughs> And North Star has everything, too. They have uh, a couple of different Sephoras. They have Lush, Bath & Body Works. They ha do have a Forever 21 that carries plus size, and they also have Saks, which has uh, higher-end brands like Louis Vuitton. Megan Patterson, what kind of camera do you use? For my vlogging, it's the Canon PowerShot ELPH 115IS. <laughs> I will have a link to it down below through Amazon because I think it's discontinued. That's the only place you can get it. Really inexpensive, and honestly, it served me well. I like it a lot. Yasmin Tracy, do you ever talk about adoption within the family? We do. Um, of course, my whole family knows the situation and everything. My mom helped us through the entire process. Um, so her and I talk about it a lot more than any of the rest of us. In my day-to-day -day life, we don't talk about it in the house, and it really has nothing to do with the fact that we're hiding anything. It just is not a topic that has ever been addressed before. And once Emmy starts to get more curious, like she's starting to ask me more questions. Like she asked me the other day, uh, my she told me, she's like, Mommy, your skin color is light brown. And I said, yeah. She said, my skin color is a darker brown. I said, yeah. 
And I said, that's okay. We're all made in different shapes, sizes, colors. And she said, but it still makes us all family. And I said, you're right. So if she had continued that conversation, I would have continued as far as she wanted to go. I answer her questions. I don't beat around the bush. I am very upfront, straightforward with her. I always will be. Um, it's nothing that I ever planned on hiding from her. When the day comes, we'll talk about it and we'll move on. I mean, you know, that's all you really can do in a situation like this. I have no experience with adoption, nor does anyone in my family. So we kind of just have to play it as we see fit, I guess. So she's obviously starting to understand that, you know, we're all different, but my family is very diverse. So I don't know that she understands quite yet that she's not biologically our child. I don't think she has grasped that concept and put two and two together or anything, but the day will come and we will have that discussion. Bits of Lovely wants to know what type of pants, workout clothes in general do I wear. Honestly, uh, my pants are from Old Navy. They're the women's fit gear and I get them in a double XL and I like the bootleg. I do have the straight pant and the legging style. I prefer the bootleg, it's more comfortable, it covers more, I don't have to worry about my socks and all that good stuff. And as far as shirts, I wear anything that I have, whether it be an old nursing shirt, I have shirts from the girls' schools, I have shirts from Relay for Life, I have all kinds of shirts, Hawaii shirts, <laughs> California shirts, Disney shirts. I wear anything and everything that I have. I will just toss it on. I do have a few workout tank, uh, not tank tops, like long sleeves with hoods. You guys have seen in my own a hot pink, like a Caribbean blue and then a hot neon orange. And I got those from Lane Bryant. They're okay. I really like working out in them, but they're starting to get a little baggy on me. Um, so they kind of get in the way of my workout. Like I have to roll up the sleeves and stuff. But other than that, basic t-shirt. Looks like that's all the questions that you guys had yesterday. Thank you so much for asking them. I appreciate it. Actually, it was the 16th vlog and today's 18th. Um, I'm just now uploading the 17th vlog, so you guys will be watching this. I won't even have seen those questions from the 17th, which was my yesterday till tomorrow, which is like two days from now for you guys. <laughs> Again, really crazy, but Thank you for asking the questions. I really appreciate it. If you have any additional questions, feel free to leave them down below. Like I said before, I won't be answering questions in every single vlog because I don't want it to be 100% reoccurrence of Vlogmas, but I don't mind doing it every couple of vlogs or once or twice a week, something like that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog and we'll see you tomorrow.